The government of Armenia has approved the bill on ratification of a comprehensive and expanded partnership agreement between the country as well as the European Union, European Atomic Energy Community, and their member countries. Deputy Foreign Minister Shavash Kocharyan introduced this draft law at Thursday's cabinet session, and he noted that this agreement raises Armenia-EU relations to a new level of partnership. We have received a notification from the EU that separate provisions of the agreement may enter into force for temporary application, Kocharyan added. Former French President Nicolas Sarkozy is accused for accepting illegal campaign funding from ex-Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, The Guardian reported. According to the source, Sarkozy faced charges after two days of questioning into whether his 2007 election campaign received 42 million euros in illegal funding from the regime of Gaddafi. The University of Belgrano and the National University of the West, both from Argentina, have suspended two denialist conferences entitled 1915, the longest year of the Ottoman Empire, which were to be carried out in conjunction with the University of Ankara. After the announcement of these conferences, all the youth institutions of the Armenian community of Argentina issued a statement in which they said it was inadmissible that an event of these characteristics be allowed in an academic fields or any space especially in a country like Argentina, a pioneer in the field of human rights and one of the first countries that recognized the Armenian Genocide. A tragic incident happened Thursday in the Lori province of Armenia. The Alaverde Town Hospital informed the police that the emergency medical staff on duty went on a call to Hochbat village, where they found the dead body of a man hanged in the animal barn of a house. According to the source, this man, 54-year-old Ovidis Arsenian, was the brother of the manager of the Alaverde branch of VTB Bank. Armenian Prime Minister Karen Garabetian said on Wednesday that he is ready to submit his candidacy for the position of first Deputy Prime Minister. Answering the question of opposition Yelp blog MP Edmond Marukian, Garabetian noted, You asked me if I am ready or not, and I said yes, but there are no discussions on this subject yet. Arsenal midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan on Thursday received the award for Armenia's 2017 Footballer of the Year. The award ceremony was held at Capital City Yerevan Football Academy, where the national squad are holding a training camp these days, informed the News AM Sport reporter. The exchange rate for one euro went up nearly two drums in Armenia in one day. The exchange rate comprised 592.15 drums, up by 2.39 drums as compared to Wednesday. The American dollar's exchange rate against the Armenian drum comprised 480.06 drums for one dollar.